Thank you. James Coburn. Uh, not quite. I think he was an actor. But um, they all say politicians are people who want to be actors, but there you go. Um, nice to see you, sir. Uh, just a question about um, Deutsche Bank. It's um, obviously very, very worrying. Uh, I'm sure you're as worried as, as I am about that. Uh, the Italian banks are looking also very scary, terrifying, worrying situation they're in. Um, I've asked this question before of others, but do you not think that Messrs Verhofstadt and Barnier trying to punish the city of London, which is the banker of Europe, whether they like it or not, do you think that's entirely wise at a time when these banks in Germany and Italy are looking very, very un uncomfortable? Uh, may this in time not topple those banks in Italy, they find that they're not getting enough credits available because the city of London is being punished. Um, if this creates credit problems, uh, it's going to, things are not going to be good for them. Uh, should you perhaps not have a word with uh, Messrs Barnier and Verhofstadt, um, who are become, rapidly becoming the Lol and Hardy of uh, Brexit, um, to try and make them behave more sensibly and try to think in the future that they have to do business with Britain, business with London, and that we may well become a very successful runaway economy, uh, someone you really desperately need to do business with, especially with your banks being in such a, a bad way. Uh, thank you for your question. Uh, uh, well, I don't subscribe to the uh, so negative view that you just portrayed of uh, European banks in general or the, the banks you mentioned uh, and so just on. Just say I'm right. Well, well okay, uh, we will see. Uh, but let me tell you that the, um, uh, situ the resilience of European banks in general has improved enormously. Uh, that on average, of course, but it's even higher in some cases, so on average, the uh, total common equity capital ratio of European banks is now 14.3% common equity. If you had all the other uh, elements of uh, capital, tier two and so on, you get to 18 or, or 19. So, and that number was, for the common equity uh, uh, ratio, was 7% in 2007, and it's now 14.3. So. There is much more resilience uh, in general, but I won't elaborate more on this. Uh, so I don't subscribe to that so negative view. There are problems in uh, some banks in Europe, yes. You had also some problems uh, in the UK during the crisis, uh, so that is uh, also true. But then to say that it's the Europe that is punishing the city of London, well, we had nothing to do with your decision, legitimate decision, to leave the uh, um, uh, European Union and to leave the single market. So uh, that's a consequence of the decision that uh, the UK took. It's not our doing. Uh, and we yes, hope... But you don't have to be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, and, uh, let me finish. And I am absolutely sure that we will continue to have uh, business with the UK in a significant way in uh, industrial goods, in services, and everything. Uh, yes, that will be uh, the end result of this process. But what you were alluding to was not that, was that you were alluding that in spite of being out, having your own regulations, your own uh, uh, supervision, your own monitoring of institutions and markets, you wanted to be in the single market for banking services as if you had not uh, gone out. Well, that, I think, it's, uh, it's not, it was not to be expected. So no one is going or is intending in punishing the city of London. There will be agreements to continue business, but on a slightly different basis, of course. And that's the normal expected result of your legitimate decision to leave the European Union. So that's the way I see that problem. 
A democratic decision, of course. Yeah, yeah, sure. Which is everyone's right. Yeah, that's what I said. Exactly. So why, why the negativity about it? If that's the decision of the British people, no, I, I that didn't. should be correct. Sorry. Why the sort of, well, no. that's your decision I and all that imply, sort of thing. Very I didn't unhelpful. imply any negativity. I didn't imply any negativity in my... Here's like that to the British public. Ah, okay. Well, just I, cannot, that, I cannot help it. That, that we, we, so you, you wanted to leave the single market. We are just surprised that you want to stay. That's the yes. point, I guess. Yes. Uh, no, we don't so want, we want we to. We thought you out were against that. Out yeah, of yeah, the single okay. market. Thank you very yeah. much. Uh, okay. I think it's going uh, nowhere and going down. Sorry. Gerolf Hanemann.